Hey friends, welcome back. So this is just a little short Starlink update video. So I got my Starlink last October uh, while I was in Alberta. I set it up in Brooks, Alberta, and it was great. Then I drove down here, set it up in Craggy Wash, and despite the problem that I had that I described in the video before this one, just a short little uh, video on something that I did and found and resolved, um, despite that little glitch, um, it was great in Craggy Wash. And here we are in Quartzsite, Arizona, and it's currently the middle of January. So things are starting to pick up here. The big tent is up. All the people are arriving. I see Starlink flat dishes and round dishes everywhere. And I haven't noticed really much change in service at all, to be honest. So if you're kind of curious about Starlink for RV and whether it's going to be okay in a busier park or a busier area, I think this is a pretty good test. And so far, one night watching uh, Prime on my iPad, I got a couple instances of buffering. If they were four seconds long, I'd be surprised, but yeah, basically just stopped, buffered for three or four seconds and then back on. And that was uh, during Prime peak viewing internet usage time. It was like evening. So yeah, um, I'll throw some random speed tests, uh, just screen captures that I did over the course of the last couple of months um, over top of here and um, basically just show you that um, each time I've thought to do one, um, they've all been pretty good. I mean, you know, it varies. Uh, some days, there's been some times where I'm like, you know, 11 a.m. on a Saturday or something, and it's like, okay, it's going to be slower. And it's like, kicking ass. So, yeah, I haven't had any problems with my Starlink whatsoever. Um, apparently, there are people out there that do have significant problems with them but um, I'm just gonna put it out there that uh, I'm quite happy and um, yeah as far as work and stuff goes I've been getting busier and busier and I'm doing stuff on a design platform called Figma which is basically connected to the internet I'm not even using the desktop version of that yet and boom it's like fine I'm like there's no lag there's nothing so yeah short little video on my Starlink experience and it's all been good so take it for what it's worth um yeah i'll talk to you all soon thanks for watching and um take care bye and in case you're wondering where i mounted my starlink uh actually it's not technically mounted anywhere it's just still using the stand that it came with but i push the slide out out and just uh i have a little step ladder and just pop it up on there um it's been in some pretty high winds and um, even on ground level we got some really hard wind in Brooks, Alberta when I first got it and I was a little nervous that it was going to flop it over but it didn't and it's been up there mm, I'm going to say some pretty good 50 60 mile an hour wind gusts came through and um, yeah no problems whatsoever so far it hasn't even rattled around at all you know during the wind so I'm not too worried about it. And now, yeah, that's about it.